all right guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be installing the carbureted intake and then installing all the um, carbureted parts and um, they're right over here I'm not sure what the specific name for this but I'll just call this a spacer it looks like it has I don't know what the hell that is but some type of mechanism on it this is the gasket for this this is the carburetor all pulled out of the junkyard nothing bought yet everything seems to be working on it throttle works uh, I just gotta figure out the um, vacuum diagram for it but um this as you can see all these parts are out of the junkyard pretty rusty the mating surfaces on them are good they're flat I just have to put silicone on everything silicone at the bottom of this manifold silicone on the base of this carburetor so that it doesn't leak silicone on both sides of this and then silicone underneath the carburetor I don't want any air leaks from the intake up so I'll get I'll start uh, putting on the silicone on the manifold and get it sitting on the motor bolt it down and then I'll come back and show you to you guys carbureted manifold on and bolt it down uh, some key tips is we already had um, intake gasket here I just wanted to make sure that it didn't leak so I put silicone on both sides of the manifold and hopefully that should make sure that we don't leak I noticed that whatever that spacer plate is has a gasket and the gasket is torn right here so I'm gonna fill this in with a little bit of silicone just uh, probably run some silicone around the whole thing just to make sure that it seals properly and then we're gonna mount the carburetor
mind it's just it's just that simple just a carbureted intake off of an old 5.0 in the junkyard a old carburetor cleaned up might need to just um, get some carb cleaning and spray it all over I might need to get another gasket for this carburetor this one is broken but it's just a spacer hopefully not much air gets out of it I need to now get a distributor for it uh, a vacuum advanced distributor to be exact and start putting it together the next video that I'm gonna do is gonna be in installing the flywheel uh, the clutch and the pressure blade um, thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe